receive it willingly with open hands and smiles on our faces. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, um, welcome again, Internet audience. We thank God for you. Whether you're watching us by live stream or you're watching us as a recording, we thank God for you. And all, just remember this. Anything that's said, anything that's happening in this service, if you love the Lord, everything that's here can be yours. Amen. Just believe it and receive it by faith. Amen? Amen. Amen. Alright. Now, the name of this, or the topic, if you would like the title, is Your Vision. And before we get to the message, yeah. uh, advice, maybe fatherly advice or friendly advice, share, share something with me. Now I know many of you have heard the word or received a prophetic word or got prayers and things have happened for you, amen? Amen. Now, have there, are there a few things that have not happened that you're still waiting on? You know it's going to happen, but are you still waiting on something? To happen for you. Friendly advice, father advice, uh, ministry advice. This is something that I did. With my walk with the Lord, you know, and I knew that God had spoken to me through the preacher, through a prophet, or through the word. I knew that God spoke to me. And that He had said, and this was mine. And it hadn't happened in a while. You know what I would do? I'd get beside my Lord and say, Lord, you know, remember that prophecy I got? You know, uh, you know I believe it. And I know you're going to do it. So, so I'm waiting. Lord, I'm waiting. Mm -hmm. I go to, you know, go to full time. Go. I say, Lord, remember that word you got, you know. And I was excited and I received and I believe I know you're going to do it. I'm waiting. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for it. Mm -hmm. I know you're going to do it. I'm looking for it. I'm waiting for it, Lord. Mm -hmm. And you know, I go on a little bit more. Lord, remember that blessing. You know. You're not a man should lie, you're just a man should repent. I know you're going to do it. Mm -hmm. I trust you. I just, I just know it, and I'm excited about it. Mm -hmm. And I know you don't want me to get excited about it and not do it. You know, so I'm looking for it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean where's it at? What do I need to do? You know, I'm looking for what you promised me. There's nothing wrong with reminding God what was spoken to you. Amen. 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 All right. Okay. Hmm. Now go with me. I want you to picture this, okay? Picture, and I know most of you, and all of you know the story of the children of Israel. They were in bondage, and God promised them something. He promised them that He would take them to a land of plenty, a land of uh, honey. Hmm? The promised land. Amen. He had. He promised them the promised land. Amen? And when he showed them and he talked about they had this vision of land, this plush land, this green land, this pleasurable land. And as you look at the land, you can envision a land that as these people are thinking about this land. They're thinking of it's green for the cattle. There's plenty of fruit. You know, they talk about the grapes, they want whatever it is. They can grow their crops. You know, there's so many things in this land. So in other words, when God, when they had this vision and they saw the land, they knew that not just that physical land was there, but everything on that land was there also. Amen? Amen. And everything not just on land, everything above the land. So in other words, this area, this whole area is protected by God. Amen? Amen. And it's a land of plenty, or a land of pleasure, a land of uh, protection, a land of His blessings, a land of His, uh, his favor. A land of His presence. Amen? Amen. 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 Alright. Now, also, who knows anybody who put a Moses? Yes. Yeah. Have you heard of um, Elijah? Yes. What about Abraham? Yes. And have you heard about Jesus? Yes. Okay. Alright. Now, let's look at Abraham or Moses. Do you know if as you read about it, the Lord will come beside you? or give a vision or a dream. And he would show Abraham what he had for him. He would give him a vision of what was coming. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now some, sometimes he would give him an open vision. Sometimes he would give him just a word. And he would just imagine it. But some way, 
the Lord will speak to him and he said, wow, this is what God has for me. Amen? Amen? So Abraham had a vision that God had given him, right? That God had given him. Moses had a vision that God had given him. Amen? Amen. Even Jesus had a vision that the Father had given him. Amen? Amen? So guess what? You have a vision yes. that's given to you by God. Amen. Now maybe you have some glimpses of it. You know, you probably don't have a full scope of it yet. But you have a vision provided by God. Amen? Amen. Now turn with me to Psalms chapter 16. And I'm going to just talk to you, take my time to talk to you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you have seen this vision. This is some wonderful, great stuff, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's awesome. Whatever it is that God's promised you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now, how many of you watch television and they talk about something really good, like maybe this great vacation or this great career or something that's really pleasurable, or something you can say, oh, I want that. Amen. Mm -hmm. You know, you see something on TV that you want, or you somebody talking about something that you want that somebody made got wealthy because they made investments or something like that. But anyway, you heard about something good through people, through the media, through whatever. Amen? You heard about these good things. And you said, you know, you may uh, hear that if you talk to someone abroad, you say, you are in America. It's so easy to be wealthy in America. You have so much great opportunity in America. It's easy. It's harder over here, but in America, it's a land of opportunity. Amen? Amen. Amen. All right. So you have all these things out here of good things that you see. And they and you have all these um, you have all these opportunities and you even have some things that people are saying to you that you can get it and it's easy. Mm -hmm. But how many people get it? How many people are receiving what they are here in the media where it's television or whether it's saying it's good, it's investment, or this career, or whatever it is, or how many people really get the business or whatever it's saying more? Even though they say you can get it, it's for you. Amen? The same thing in the kingdom of God. You know, how many preachers or prophets or whatever they are that said, God has this for you. God has that for you. God has this for you. Amen? Mm -hmm. How many people said that? How many times they prayed? Mm -hmm. Well, why are we so special? Because we are the place that show you how to get it. We don't just talk about it here, you get it. Amen? Amen. That's why it's that's why it's just a special place, isn't it? Because aren't you tired about hearing about it? They say, well, Lord, well tell me how to get it. You say I can have it. Well tell me how to get it. You know so much. Tell me how to get it. Because if you show me something that's good, I want it. Amen? Amen. Alright. Amen. Now, your vision. So, the Lord doesn't leave you hanging. Amen? Amen. And the Lord does not want you to, um, what is it when somebody tells you something and they're just playing with you, you know what I'm saying? They're just playing with your emotions, want to tell you something that they don't mean it? No, the Lord means what He says. If He shows it to you, says it's yours, He means what you get to Him. Now the Lord is going to show you how to get all the promises, amen, that He's given you, amen? Now, step number one, the Lord is going to lead you. He's going to give you this vision of something that is great and wonderful and awesome. And he's going to lead you into it. Amen? Amen. All right? He's not going to leave you hanging. All right. Psalm 16, 11. Thou wilt show me the path of life, and in thy presence is full of joy, at thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Amen. So, you have a vision of the great things that God has for you, amen? Mm -hmm. And now God will, he will provide a path for you that you will walk right into the vision, amen? Amen. 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 Turn with me to Isaiah chapter 42. And it's really so easy. I want you to know something. When the Lord, as you turn to Isaiah 42, I want you to know something. The promise of the Lord, God has promised you something. If he said this is for you, it's guaranteed. That's right. Amen. That's right. It's like no chance. I mean, it's it's it's, it's yours. Amen. You know? It is yours. It's not like a one in a million or if I do this, no. It's yours. You're going to get it. He's promised it. And it's a sure thing. 
He's never missed it. He's never failed. They say he may not be early, but he's never late. He's always on time. So in other words, if he said it's yours, you will get it. It's guaranteed. Amen. Can you say that? It's guaranteed. Amen. All right. Isaiah 42, chapter 6. Isaiah 42, verse 16. And I will bring the blind by a way that they knew not. I will lead them in paths that they have not known. I will make darkness light before them and crooked things straight. These things will I do unto them and not forsake them. So in other words, Amen. he's not going to forsake you. Amen. He's not going to lead, lead you. He's going to lead you into that path. So in other words, okay, it's like an investment or a business. You know, you have this great idea, but you don't know how to do it. You don't know all the things that go, go with it. You don't know who to trust. But see what the Lord is going to do. And that's just an example. It doesn't have to be a business. But he's going to make that path straight. All these things you don't understand, he's going to give you understanding. Mm -hmm. He's going to light the path where you know which way to go. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Remember, it's a sure thing. Yes. So, turn with me to Isaiah chapter 24. So, he's going to lead you right into this vision. He's going to lead you into these promises. Amen? Amen. He's not just going to tell you he got something for you and leave you alone. No, he's going to show you how to get it. Amen. Amen. All right. Y'all believe that? Yes. Okay. All right. Now, on this path, you have started this journey. you got the vision, you believe God, and then you're walking on this path. Amen? Amen. There's something that he's going to provide for you while you're walking with him on this path to your destiny, to the vision, to the promises. Alright? He's going to provide protection. Amen? Amen. Because everybody don't want you to get what God has for you, yes. man. Amen. You have a lot of enemies seen and unseen, mm -hmm. known and unknown. Alright? Right. He's yes. going to protect you. Alright? Yes. Okay, Isaiah 54, verse 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and the righteousness of is of me, said the Lord. See, it's your heritage to be protected. Amen. 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 Your heritage. So this is a right that you have from God. Amen. 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 Now, no weapon formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against thee. Now, why does he care about the tongues that rise against thee? Because tongues have power. In other words, the things they speak in the atmosphere have power. Amen? Amen? So, he's even going to cast those things down. When people are talking about you, when people say you don't want to do this, you don't want to do that, they try to curse you, he casts all those things down. And they have no power. And actually, he turns those things against those people. Yes, right. Amen? Amen? All right. Remember, no weapon formed against you. It could be a plot, it could be a plan, or it could be an evil speaking tongue. No weapon formed against you is going to prosper. Amen? Amen. You have, you are divinely protected while you're on this path, on this journey with the Lord, into your destiny, into your promises, into whatever, into the vision that He's given you. Amen? Amen? Is this good news? Yes. yes. Right. Just think about it. Think about what God has promised you. Amen? Yes. Amen. All right, now, let's go backwards in Isaiah and turn to Isaiah 43. I was still talking about, we talked about first he will lead you, and then now he will protect you while you're on this path. Yeah. We, because we know it's guaranteed. He shall do everything that needs to be done that we'll walk into the future. Isaiah 43. And we're just going to read one verse, verse 2. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. Who, who is I? God. All right. Will be with thee through the waters, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. So as you're walking on this journey, there's fire, there's things that may be coming against you. Amen? Mm -hmm. And when you're walking in the water, it gets deeper and deeper and deeper, you know? But the water is not, you're not going to drown. As, as deep as you go, you will flow to the top. It will never, you will never submerge and drown. Amen. Yeah. And also the fire, it, it won't even get hot. 
You know, when you walk with the Lord, you walk in the coolness of the day with Him. Amen. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter what's going on in the atmosphere. 